I I can't explain. I'm just grumpy today. Okay. It's okay. We like you, grumpy. Go grumpy bear. We're yeah. a nine-year-old boy, so <laughs> that's yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Dude. Oh, it's not not sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, fuck. Look, in the You're morning. Tomorrow sorry. morning. Listen, tomorrow morning, I won't be grumpy. Trust, okay. it'll be fine. But you'll only but... still be sorry to less than half of us. I don't. I don't know. I, like I don't even know anymore. I guess. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, like, answer, dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I do like that answer. It is a good one. It's very neutral. Goober got mad at me. He was like, you're not funny, you're just toxic now. And I'm like, what? I'm just grumpy, man. Relax. Oh, jeez. Yeah, unlucky, well, unlucky uh, dude. Go Gooby's in an uh, insulting mood. Or Goober's in an insulting mood Yeah, he's today. grumpy too. He's grumpy too. Everybody's grumpy today. Dude, it's the I'm, fucking, it's I'm a fucking not, Monday, I'm bro. Not, it's it's fucking Monday. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. It's, it's Fuck, funny. Me, me either. Like, uh, I mean... Yeah, I'm on It's one of those Mondays so where... I'm, usually I don't mind Monday. But today's one again, of those Mondays where I'm just like, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was supposed to go to Walmart, yeah. but like, I ordered Pizza 73 and like, they didn't give me my ranch dip, and that's so when, when like, my whole day went off edge. It's gonna take place anyway. <laughs> like, actually. Oh, Seriously, order you pizza, right? To Iceland. Mm -hmm. Did miss this you? year? Did missed you my watch ranch. This Next year. Shut up. Thanks. I don't know, I can only hear like one person at a time. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is going on in this special area? Can you watch this? Is Iceland, or shut is up. Iceland still like No, you go nighttime? to a, a private call and watch the rabbit. What about Iceland? Oh. Yeah, what time is it? Anyway, it's like nighttime like, right now, I don't right? Know if in Iceland. Watching. I thought it's you were watching. You're not watching. No, I'm not watching. It's 2.36 yeah, a.m. It's not porn, it's anime. It's 2.36 a.m. in Canada, so what time is it for this? Raging woman. Eleven thirty-six. <laughs> this um, raging woman. No, I'm just asking. Like, is it for night? Me? Is it? Is it talking is it, to me? Is it? No, six I, I never said. I sa or did I say Raven? I never said Raven woman. I no, said no, raging woman. And who's Bro. that? Oh, don't worry. That's my mother. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Ra Raven. <laughs> I got confused. Yeah, Raven. you definitely got confused. My mom's no. the raging one. Don't worry. Oh, is it okay. six months of in Iceland? And I is just it six to months it. of uh? Well, I'm not, I'm not in Iceland. Of time. And I have I to do with mine too. Iceland. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know how that is. I mean, just I don't think so. Me. I think that's later in the year. I think it starts around like November or September, probably. The the like nighttime for six months. Yeah. Well. What the the most this, Sunday get is death. Where's all the singing? Uh, where's all the crazy singing in this channel? Let's still go on. No, that's karaoke. some karaoke. Dude. The karaoke. Oh, you Have want you karaoke? Oh, oh straight yeah, up baby. died early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karaoke yeah. straight up died early. Have like, you there been there for, with for the a period of time just to know if you can? I was adjust. in there one night when some girl was singing and she was like. Oh lord, uh, I'm talking with Ingray and I. And she was like 20%. No, it's, it's Merc, he's just probably drunk again. I'm not drunk at all, actually, but. Whatever yeah, happened, she was. A, I, I'm not a music. I'm not a. Uh, listen, I'm not a musicator, but she was. Not, she was about 20%. In yeah, Merc just quality. likes to talk to himself. He doesn't care if you're listening. Alright, and. Uh, uh, Whatever what happened was... to Mansley? So will you adjust there? No, I don't. I don't live there yet. I'm moving there in a year and a half. And yeah, but have you have you visited to see if you can take? No, it? we're we're actually going. In gay this just year. likes to talk shit about me for no reason all the time. Well, so I mean, I was talking and from, then you walked in and started from, yelling, just like. Yeah, from, so, uh, from what you from what you say. If I, inter if I interrupted, I apologize. Actually, to be that's honest, that's cool. Stop interrupting, okay. and we'll we'll be all cool, man. No worries. Awesome, awesome. Because I didn't know. I apologize. Because uh, it's gonna be quite expensive. I don't. I'm not okay. sure. Like you go there and then it's not good. It's gonna be that fast well, to come back. We were going over there for about a month just to kind of like see it at its coldest, oh, darkest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we're going at the end of this year, so it's like. Can we'll I ask see. where you're going? That's Iceland. what I thought. That's what I thought. Iceland? Mm hmm. 
Wow, that's really, But I thought, that's I thought you've lot. already done that. You've already okay. been there so and to right check it out. No, most of what we've done so far is just research and talking with people that live there and working on our paperwork for naturalization. Get, yeah, getting, getting there and everything. Um, but the naturalization stuff, there's a lot of preemptive crap you have to do. Like, before you can go to any country, yeah, you, you have to leave the... Yeah, you get and all types of stuff, man. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? Uh, no, you, you go ahead and you finish the story, dude. No, no, I'm asking, am I right or am I wrong? You gotta get tested for a bunch of stuff. You just have to go in and have a physical. Oh, that's simple, huh? When I went to Holland, there was this crazy paper that I had to, to, to make. Like, it's a, it was a declaration that I wasn't married, which is a... In yeah. itself, a document that doesn't exist because you only get a document when you get married. You get a, mm -hmm. a marriage contract, well, whatever. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah. Well, yeah, but you had to declare your status, whether you were single, married, blah, blah, blah. Like. Yeah, but how do you declare that you're single? You can only you write it on the married. paper in your taxes. Single. Yeah, you do claim it for taxation as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's a declaration that you're not currently in. A legally binding marriage. Yes, you don't do your yeah, taxes. Not your, not yeah, not fuck it. niggers. We oh, don't have that. Us. We got two so I have to make here. a declaration and get signed by three witnesses. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a whole mess because here in Brazil you can only prove that you're married, not that you're oh, single. Okay. Yeah, see, and That's, you don't yeah. really like have a certificate to s say that you're single. Yeah, you you just don't. But, out of, but the absence smuggle. of a marriage license means that you are. Can you smuggle exactly. her out of there? But that, they didn't, that they didn't want that. Really they were like in paper that I was single. Shut up. Well, it is it backwards. Because, I mean, we're basically declaring the default position. Like, exactly. you always start single. But, you know, for the sake of I knowing... Say, no, like, the if you guys mind if I say something intelligent for, like, two minutes? Go we, ahead. Okay, so we got a bunch of Syrian refugees brought into Muskoka. You can look it up, Gravenhurst, Ontario, and and you know what? And there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like we're. It's perfect. It was perfectly fine, man. It's been smooth. And, and other people would be like, "Oh, that's a." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like no, actually, they're they're human beings. They need a chance to li live in a fucking decent country where they can go to school and have an education. And walk the streets and feel peaceful. And I even I talked to two of them, and I had, they couldn't speak. They had a harder time speaking English, but still we had a conversation. And then the point is, man. My point is, you can't judge people just because I don't like. Well, I don't want to hear someone going, "Oh, hey, nigger." Get your vocabulary better, bud. I don't, your fuck is that? Oh, no, no, right on, bud, right on. Like, if that's what you gotta say, bro, I'd, like, fuck out of here, man. It's like, dude, you're a fucking peanut, man. Like, I'm, I, 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 I like to read books and re and watch documentaries and expand my mind, not fucking sit here and twindle around. Yeah, I do some, I come in here and chat at night. There's nothing wrong with that. But anyways, I said my point, and it was a perfectly legitimate point, and I stand by it. Yep, I'm not wrong. Thank you, I appreciate that. I talked to a Syrian once. That was interesting. I had a friend from Tunisia, and I, and she had a very time there. And, and she taught me one word, and it's how to call someone faggot in fucking Tunisian. <laughs> moi boyin. You call him a moi boyin. Alright, I'm gonna go to Starbucks tomorrow and just sit, call the cashier that. Hey, call, <laughs> him a, call, call him a moi boyin. You gotta say moi boyin. You have to have that little accent. How you doing, moi boyin? No, you have to have the you have to have like the, you have to have like the you have to actually have like the Arabic accent. Moi boy. Like, I don't have an Arabic accent. So yeah, I guess well, I can't can, say it. You can pump it out. Give me a break. 
Okay, like like I asked you on the message, is this a drunk version of War of the Mind? No, no, he's uh, actually okay. he actually made sense, even if it was kind of convoluted way of making it. He's oh, right. still at a salient point. Overmind and Redmind don't like me at all. They don't like me, man. I'm not, I'm like, not drunk, like, drunk and I got a glass of water in front of me, so... I just make them sound dumb when I fucking... When they're talking but, about stuff But that's like the that. thing, they don't like anybody. Like, they only tolerate me because they basically are afraid to talk shit to me. I, I can't wait till they piss off <laughs> man, someone they, like Otai. Legit, I can't wait till they piss off someone like Otai or Nuzli and they get banned. It'd no, so like, funny. Goober's smart enough not to piss off mods. Uh, Overmind's too driven. He, he'll, he's probably gonna get banned one day, just... Because he's gonna have some principled idea that he stands by, even in the face of, like, a mod saying, Dude, just shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> and... What happened is all these... There's not many spies tonight. Oh, there's people there talking. It's a good chunk, but I don't hear anything. It's like one, two, three, four, including me, five, oh. six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's because people keep I, walking in here I, and I miss stepping loot, all man. over the conversation. Yeah, <laughs> I missed. I'm, I miss sorry, loot, I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry. I interrupted, man. Whatever happened to loot? That guy always made fucking voice chats lit. I just came home and I interrupted. I apologize. I'm a gentleman. I'm. I fucking agreed. To I agree to my mistakes, man. I'll light something up with the freestyle right now. If I can put a bead on. Wanna get it lit? I'll light something. No, Lud made it lit by just air raping everybody. Oh, that's even worse. <sighs> yeah. That's just annoying. I think. He just literally just like would walk in and just say no, one word. It's, it's it wouldn't be like... Super ear rape, it would be like one word ear rape. Let me ear rape you with my raps. Hmm. Hmm. Fatal penetration. Where do I five. fucking go in this video game, dude? I'm so lost. What are you playing? Yeah, it's playing, we're all, playing it's WoW and I'm lost. I don't know where to go. Okay, I can't help you on that. Yeah, I can't either. I'll figure it out, don't worry. I'll figure it out, boys. Look for the berries in the left bush, you get. Get good. Oh, le legit, Overmind and Redman like made me really grumpy earlier, and then I was grumpy all day f from the beginning anyway. So it just made me more grumpy. I'd like to meet these guys if they're grumpy and and, and salty, because I'm not like I'm not a rude person, but I'll fire back like a fucking nuclear rocket, man. Like, I'm not. I'm highly into. I, like I don't. I'm highly into. I don't want to talk like I'm smart, some smart ass, but I can definitely back my speech up. And I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say I'd freestyle if I haven't, if I haven't rapped for like fucking ten years straight freestyle. I don't even know what to call them. I think they're like pretentious. I don't know. That's a good word. That's a fucking. That's a smart word. I've met a, I've met a lot of I've met a lot of pretentious people. That, that's gonna have to go into a rap and out, man. Pretentious, and then I need my vengeance. Like fuck, easy. Mm -hmm. While the whipping, me, trapping, trapping up. You give me fucking, you give me bars, bro. You don't even know. Fuck, I need eight grand by next week. I think I'm gonna go OT, to be honest. Where the f man? Where the fuck did that corner weed go? It's laying on the floor. Never mind. Oh shit! What am I doing? I'm walking through like an. What the fuck? These guys are max level. I'm gonna die. <laughs> All right. This is the fucking gauntlet. I'm gonna run through. Oh fuck! Me give me a half ounce. I forgot about that, man. You should be that guy that tags along with people, then like steals the best loot and doesn't do anything. Yeah, that was me on World of Warcraft. I'd pick everything I, up and then I did that the off. other day. <laughs> These guys were fighting a world boss, and I just, like, hit it twice and got the fucking mount. That was actually so dumb. <laughs> the they were just like, the wow, are you kidding me? You're not even level 100. Yep. Can't wait till my mail comes tomorrow again. I love mail. Mail is yep, so mail. Good. Yep, mail is amazing. Yeah. They got good goods coming in the mail again. 
Uh, they're like, hey, you want to get this credit card? Why not? No, no, I'm talking about way better stuff than credit cards. What you getting? Credit drugs. <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong. There's right, nothing wrong. In, there's nothing wrong with ingesting sub substances if you can control your mind and be an intelligent person and speak and have a conversation. Like right now, I am fucking decked out on Molly, boys. I'm fucking wired. Well, if he is, then look I'm at still, him. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still can, aware. Exactly. You probably have. A, we could probably have a better conversation than half of you guys. This is on Molly. It's like that. When I'm on Emmer Molly, I'm telling like movie. I could. I could explain you a whole movie on Molly. I could talk to you about the entire Riddick Chronicles. There you go. Uh, derp. <laughs> I ate some chicken today, and my stomach kind of. <laughs> Why do you I think you're up salmonella. Can I call you a doctor? No. Did you cook it all the way through? Yeah. It's pink on the inside. Pretty He's sure. a I'm pretty sure. I mean, did you like, get like, raw done. chicken on anything else? For any surfaces? No. no. Hope okay. not. He doesn't know what he's doing. He probably fucking poisoned himself, man. Just leave him alone. Uh-huh. Cross-contamination times 10. You ever watch those what Jordan Ramsey kitchen nightmares where they have, like, raw chicken and cooked chicken? I have some chicken. noodles, though. Oh, dude, I know. Just I want some starving shit, my dude. What is cross-contamination, though? That's when you put something. raw product next to fresh product in a restaurant. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Oh, great idea, eh? Hell yeah. Yeah, Hell yeah, eh? How's life up in Canada? Oh, Terrible. I don't even no, if you, ask you know how much it was to buy McDonald's the other day? 14 bucks. If you're in Canada, right. you, if you're in Canada, yeah, bro. Didn't you buy McDonald's for Looney? I mean, I'm down in Florida, so dude, it's my pizza was thirty dollars today, and I yeah, my dude, it. what's up with that? They, fuck, they fucking missed my ranch. They didn't even give me ranch. Why is it? Why is it so expensive and up there? Bro, it's not. It's it's. It's the delivery, it's, man. When you deliver bro, that shit, everyone they go talks. To shut the fuck up, man, for a second. So you tell up, man. I'm really triggered that they removed the chicken wrap from the menu. That's like the only thing I eat from McDonald's. You can't even explain something because little peanuts keep talking. Not you, bro. Chicken wraps the bomb, and I wish you never removed them. Yeah, well, man. I don't know. I don't know why Big Mac's fourteen dollars. I guess Canada just likes to rape people. <laughs> our our minimum wage is like fucking like eleven eleven fifty. It's twelve dollars right now. Good. It's twelve right now. No, it goes up to fourteen when we get the two dollar increase. Well, we already have that in Alberta, but that's only because our inflation's so high that we have to, yeah, or else people yeah. can't live. You're right. And They'll you're... starve to death. It's like exactly. working for free. It's just like B BC is the same situation, man. See, in America, we just tell people to go fuck off. <laughs> yeah, they die. Yeah. The only way I can survive in this province is if I go work as an equipment operator or a boilermaker. It's all the only one in the back street. Yeah. All right. Or or else I have to go sell like crack. I have to go yeah, OT. Yeah, uh, go downtown on. Uh, uh, what the fuck is downtown Vancouver? You know the worst spot, man. What is it called? I can't the, remember. Isn't there a Yakuza area? <laughs> no, there's like really? it's, there's a really bad area. All the crackheads just walk around there. I don't know. I don't live there. I don't know there. Good night, sir. Have a good sleep, sir. I don't know who you are, but have a good sleep. I can sell pent. I can sell puddles where I live, but, nice. but like it's super dead right now. Like nobody's buying. Okay, so, so buddy, literally just said he gave me a half ounce for for for. I don't understand how that works. I think he fucked up, man. Because it's only seventy dollars for. No, no, it was less than that. 
I'm laughing anyways, I don't even give a shit. How much does the Boilermaker make up there though? If you're a journeyman Boilermaker, you make $40 an hour. And if you're a master Boilermaker okay, so. or a supervisor, you make 60 Damn. Sorry, right, I'm 27 years old. I'm going. In, uh, I just, I'm just doing my college. Um, fuck, call, fucking stoner head here. Fucking gapping out. <laughs> the fucking intro shit, man. The associates. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. I'm doing all that, and I'm gonna be a child and youth worker. I got no criminal record. I've had a fucked up childhood. I can help fucking people, so that's my that's what I'm gonna do for school. Make money. It takes it takes about two two years to become an apprentice, making twenty seven starting as a boilermaker, and it takes two more years to become a journeyman. And then my you get forty k. My dad is a drywaller. Not forty dollars an hour. My dad is a master dry, My dad is a master drywaller his whole life, and he broke his back, and he's he's he made a lot of money, man. He, My can buddy. Go, he can go up like fucking a hundred feet in scaffolding without anything on and paint and fucking drywall and put that shit on. I see him do some shit like I'm like, what the fuck, dad? How are you not scared up there, man? He's like, man, I'm used to it. It's like, whoa. Plus they pay him not to be scared. No, man, he's he's just good. I like. I'm not even bragging about my dad, but my dad's known in the town to be like one of the best drywallers. Gotcha. His business is fucking fucked and shut down, but people still hire him to fix their fuck ups. Gotcha. Yeah, I live in um, I live in Florida, by the way. And uh, a couple a year ago, I was um, working at this grocery store over on the beach, and uh, literally half our customers were Canadians and. Really? Only half of them. Yeah, there's so many Canadians around here. Wow. Um, we come down in some certain areas. Of yeah, they, because they don't like the winter, so they get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I always wondered how people could afford to do that, even if they were well off. How there's so many you make, people afford. If, you, if you're like a master at, at your trade, if yeah. you're in a trade and you're a master's, like, you literally, right. make, you literally make like 12,000 take home every two weeks if you go OT. If you have like 12 hours OT, that's like double six. You make like 120 my, an hour OT. My buddy's dad's a fiber op, a fiber optic cable layer, and he goes out to BC and out and this and that, and he makes mad money. He comes home, man. New trucks, new this, new that, everything. New new snowmobile every year, bro. My my buddy's the same age as me, and he's a journeyman boilermaker, and he makes fucking nine grand take home a month. More like even more than that, I think. I think he makes that every two weeks, because he's on a two-week shift now. And I'll tell you, the blue-collar prospects up there are much better than they are down here. So. Yeah. Canada's different, man. Yeah. The problem is that because people make such high wages here, everything's expensive because of inflation. So every anyone who isn't in a trade is basically fucked. He's 100 percent right. You might as well just move to like Europe. Or some so, other country where it's so, not as like. So if they were gonna race, so when this race is supposed to, what, what they're, I don't even. What about if there's some race and medical marijuana goes when that happens and they try to raise the price on that, I'm gonna fucking riot. Yeah. See, in the state of Florida, we just uh, voted for, on election day and. Um, they voted for medical marijuana, but for some reason the House still can't seem to yeah, pass medical marijuana legislation. Can. I yeah. got my I got my paper to work right here. My doctor's gonna sign it, and I'm going. I I can do. I can grow four plants personally. It's right here. Uh, it says like. The problem where, is. Where will you want? Where will? Sh oh shush! All right, let me get my drunken. I had a couple beers. So I won't lie. Where will we be shipping your medical cannabis to this residence, to this mailing address, to a healthcare provider? No, I want it damn well to my house, yo. So all these other questions. Yeah, it's, I guess I have uh, firearms up there. Canada? Yeah. It's Pit. a long, arduous Pistols. process to get guns here. Pistols really? are fucking very hard to get, man. 
like the easiest thing to get here is rifles because there's lots of people that hunt. Yes, he's right. Uh, like, you can't just buy a gun at a store. You need to be like, you need a, yeah. you need a clean record and you need like a bunch of paperwork signed and then yeah. you can purchase a weapon. Buy the, yeah, buy the government and it's a bunch of waste of money. You might as well go buy one off the street of Lilo, eh? Yeah. I mean, here you can just basically go down to a gun store, get a background check. Uh, once you clear the background. Oh, I love America. I love America in a certain way and I hate it. Why do you so, hate it? I don't know, because I've had a lot of problems with some really cocky American people, man, that just have bad attitudes, man. They just treat people like shit and just talk people down. And they don't have no manners whatsoever. They burp and fart and act like pigs. It's <laughs> disgusting to me, man. Yeah, I mean, that's so, what so, I like about America. Overmind and red man, basically. Bryce. What, I just describe you? No, described oh, no. some other people. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a lot of... That's what I don't like. Welcome to the South, brother. Well, man, that's, is that how... Uh, yeah. well. I don't take that kind of thing seriously, so I can tolerate it, but like, I don't know. I'm telling you, man, I don't like hearing the girl burp. That's a turn off. It's disgusting. Pig shit. Canadians are like if Americans act like that, then Canadians are the complete opposite. And I think it's just like there's a lot of pretentious people in Canada. Yeah, <laughs> I feel I'm like you, this. you definitely know that. Yeah, there's a lot of pretentious people in Canada. You like, got unless you unless you like going to college here is so that? annoying. What book did you read that from? No, Which... like I'm talking about like school. If you go to like, if you go to like college and uni, like man, you are where, where I live. No, no, no. It's it's blessed here, man. I'm sure it's better in like other places, but where I live, like there's a lot of pretentious uni students taking like psychology. Yeah, <laughs> and it, they're like, there's only like one, there's only like one guy I know who's taking psychology that isn't like pretentious as fuck. Really. Yeah, he actually under he actually like he actually makes he actually kind of pokes fun at himself because he's taking a degree that's gonna make him no money. But at least he's honest with yeah. it. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, he's I not mean, like pretentious about it. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna take the psych degree for 12 years and then become an alcoholic and help and people. And make, <laughs> like, and make all the, the yeah yeah. Okay, sure. And make I mean, all this money and be a fucking stooge. I know it's fucked up, man. Yeah. I mean, fuck I mean, I mean America. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, it's all good, man. I mean, in America, uh, most uh, college university students, uh, quite a few of them have just lost their fucking minds after the election yeah. happened. I mean, it's basically a cult of Bernie Sanders right now. I'm not kidding. I've lost yeah, friends well, that told jokes about Bernie, Bernie Sanders, Sanders and other people. Bernie Sanders was a good candidate, but so I doubt that he's going to be sitting there much longer, man. They're gonna have to fucking rip him right under the seat. They're gonna get enough evidence. And yeah, then, but it's been but it's been nine months and there's still no evidence, so that's the problem. Yeah, but they're digging it up, man. They've been digging. If he stays a second term, See, though, I could argue this. Jesus I could Christ, argue. Could you fucking and you owe it. and you own your own property. You're gonna make a lot of money if you sell it after. No, he gets I agree with this fucking business fucking idea, like fixing America. Yes. That is a, that is a good idea. He's thinking about, he's thinking about his country, but even though it is the, all shit's made in Japan. True. I mean, the um, we do have the highest said, corporate tax rate in the world, so there is that, and I hope he does. Uh, our tax, our taxes are pretty raped too, and we and then we get a. The, it's hard to explain. We get we get GST. HST and O and OST on our taxes, which is some certain. So if you buy bread, you get a little bit of this and that. But every three months you get a GST check, which is like seventy dollars, eighty to a hundred. Every month you get an OS Ontario. I live in Ontario, so every month they get an Ontario sales tax check, which is like seventy dollars. Wow, we're getting anywhere near that for anything close to that. Yeah, so they give us money back for paying our paying their taxes. 
I mean, you get a ta income tax refunds every April in our country. I mean, it depends. It varies quite a bit. Like, you know, if you make a... Uh, Two hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. You get um, on the on average fifteen thousand dollars in tax returns. My stepbrother got taxed because he worked. He was a, he's like a journeyman power engineer. He got taxed like a thousand dollars on one of his checks once because of all the taxes he got. Yeah. And his tax return was like fucking five grand, six grand. So he just bought like a car. Christ. Just a brand new car. Just the just cash only, like so much money he got from his tax return. Yeah, but yeah, in America, but uh, I forgot what I was saying earlier. But uh, you could basically just go down the gun store, wait three days, and you'll walk out with a brand new AR-15 rifle or an American-style semi-auto. That's why I love America, man. I wish that Canada could just fucking adopt that style, mm -hmm. man. I know. I mean, it takes like it takes like nine months to get a hunting rifle, like a 22. Fuck me. I yeah, mean, my buddy. And you, get, and, and you get three round clips. Yo, what's Jesus up, guys? Christ. <laughs> Bro, I got a what couple could of round clips. Out? What could you take out with that? A rabbit? You could take out a deer. <laughs> like a rabbit, yeah. I don't I think mean, they should have any gun control laws in the US. Yes. I don't think they should have any in Canada either. I should be able to conceal and carry a fucking Glock right on my side. I could actually do that right now. The you thing is, the thing is, I don't think you're even allowed to carry a gun in public in Canada. Yeah, you can. You can. California. No, no, no. You have to have it tucked away in a truck, man, and put it like hidden. Good. You need it. Yeah, you need it either in your truck or in a safe. Yeah, like it's fucked. Dude, the only you, way why do you guys need a gun in Canada? Pardon me. They don't. If you're a criminal, the only way to properly kill someone in this country is if you take them out quote unquote hunting and just shoot them in the fucking head in the bush. Do you know, Johanny, it's the only way. I've heard a lot of bad stories about what you just fucking said, bro. Yeah, it happens all the time, man. Like, don't, that's why I don't go hunting. Because I, I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, like, oops, no, I don't want to go hunting with you. Oops, I just killed you. Yeah. Like, and it's like, a, they make it look like an accident, you know? And then it's yeah. like, well, fuck, man. I guess you just get away with murder. The most fucked up thing is you're, like, 100% right about that story, man. It's scary, that, man. that happens so much here. It actually it's happens scary. way too much. It's scary, because it's scary, because I've heard old people say Yo, some what's shit good, like if you're, in, oh if you're like into fuck? drugs, if you're into drugs, that's what oh, happens. If they want to kill you, they just say, "Oh yeah, let's go, let's go hunting, bro. Yeah, let's go ahead, shoot some deer," oh, really and then they really fucking shoot you in the head when you least expect it. Christ, it happens all the time. I'd just shoot them in the head in the street if I had to get drug money out of them. Just kill them. Fuck it. It's fuck not even it. drug money. It's like it's like territory. Yeah. It's like if you're disrespecting them, you know. Yeah. I'm saying, so, like, be all buddy buddy with you. All and then, I'm like, saying is, all I'm saying is, I never go hunting with someone that I owe like thousands of dollars to that could shoot. Well, no me. shit. No Come shit. on, bro. No way that dumb. I mean, fuck it. At least you got a nice area to go hunting up there. Down here is just hot swamp and palm tree land where everything yeah. wants to fucking kill your ass in Florida. It's a nice plant. It's a lot of nice. The air is beautiful here because we got. No, it is. It's like a fucking yeah. down here all the time. Like, don't get me wrong, there are people here who, who definitely hunt, like, legit. They just, like, shoot a deer you and they... You can Google where, where I live. You can Google the where I live. It's Muskoka. It's like... Yo, if you, if you owe a thousand dollars, how are you even able to go fucking fishing? What the fuck? I don't know who even said anything about fishing, but yeah. Alright, look. Or hunting up. or some shit, dude. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wow, you're off of um, Prince Edward, Nova Scotia. Yeah, if you want to look up where I am, I'm um, in uh, Largo, Florida. You go Gravenhurst, Ontario, and you'll find me, bro. Okay, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in Muskoka. I'm, I'm not. I'm in, there's lakes all around me. I can see. You search Gravenhurst, Ontario, you'll see lakes all around me. Fishing spots all around me, man. I mean, basically, St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Florida is a boater's paradise. There's not, there's just a long stretch of barrier islands you can, that basically is the best place to own a boat in the country around here. And, um, St. 
St. Pete, Florida. This is, and, and it's called Cottage Country because all the people come up here and own cottages and come every summer. They don't live here, but they come to their cottages. Nice. Hey, it brings money to the it brings money to the town, so whatever. Can't hate on it. This town's dead until summertime. It's when, gotcha. the, it's when all the bitches come, the American bitches and shit. Mm -hmm. That's why what? I went to that's why I went to the city. The, city I mean, the town I, the town I lived in was like only Good for one thing and one thing only. A bunch Fishing. of single men who work it in trade, buying hookers and coke. Shit, I love that I shit. Thought, I thought you were gonna say you had sex with them, man. The only thing good about yeah. it was Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of gay men too, right? They're like single, they're away from the family. The only good thing about it, the only thing good with the thing boys about was it was gay shit. The gay and single men. Uh, no, just... If you think that's really bad, you should try living in San Francisco. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, bro. Bro. Okay, can I? San Francisco is the bay, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you man. Live in the bay? No, I can afford I, to live there. No, my my boy, my boy, fucking was in California, and he turned into a fucking crystal meth head in your city. And fucking, I listened to a lot of rappers from the Bay Area. Rest in peace, Jack. He got shot in the head by you. You, you, this gang, everything, man. Damn everything I love. Oh, well, yeah. the it's Bay doesn't actually good. have that many gangsters anymore. Yeah, they no, do, don't. man. No, they don't. Then why why is there random AK shootings and slugs are getting put in rappers' heads? Are you sure you have the right place? Have you ever heard of the J Have you ever heard of the jacket? T H A J A C K A. Google it. Bay Area. San Francisco, California, where my friends smoked crystal meth and walked the streets for 10 days and and never slept. And then the gangsters fucking put them back on a bus and sent them right back to Canada. Yep, that's the <laughs> Bay Area. That's the Bay. Yeah, there's certain parts, I guess, like uh, the Tenderloin when I was there. He, he, was, he could tell me the areas that were fucked that he was in, man. I mean, honestly, but if you live in San Francisco, you won't be hanging out in the Tenderloin that much. Yeah, you really won't be hanging no, out there. No, 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 not if, unless you're fucking smoking crystal meth like a fucking yeah. idiot. I mean, you can get drugs here really easily. So what, you're too pussy to go to the Tenderloin? Um, yeah, no, actually, you go I down be... there. But you get made fun of if you're white. Oh, yeah. really? Not white people. I've been to the Tenderloin 15 times, so... But there aren't actually that many gay pe people here, unless you go to like the Castro. Why is it called the Castro, by the way? He's gay. Fidel. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, because I'm like in, uh, I'm in Tampa, Florida, where a bunch of fucking Cubans hate the, hate the um, communists. So. Football. Someone's probably get at it. Ah uh, shit! I got Calc three class in seven in fucking seven hours. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know what this weird little pill is, but it seems to be powerful. Let me look at it. Oh, it says fuck you up. Oh, hold on, wait a second. Who the fuck's ding donging out? Everyone's dip sack. If there's no one talk, okay, so this is king queen, he talks and all that. I don't know about cats. Yeah, all right, I think I'm dip setting up here too. I think it's time to shut this channel down. Put the axe to the head.
What's up, Will? <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Why is everyone here all muted? I know, a lot of them left. Uh, what are you doing, man? I'm just playing games. Um, I'm playing single player. So uh, I just need to talk to someone or else I feel pretty lonely. Yeah, me too. I just got uh, really high. And uh, I'm feeling pretty great right now. I thought I'd share my happiness with someone because I'm so poor. Uh. Oh man. Uh, is Pete X on here? Is that him? Mm -hmm. Hello. Someone did do something. <gasps> Wait. If you guys enjoyed that video, remember to leave a like for the video. Also, remember if you haven't already to subscribe. And if you guys want to go above and beyond, there is a link in the description of the Patreon. If you guys want to contribute to the page, any contributions made will go directly back into improving the channel. I want to thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.